Hi everybody, I'm Keandra and welcome back to my channel. As the video states, I will be reviewing the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer and I'll tell you my thoughts about it, if I like it, and if it is worth the price. So if you wanna learn more about the Dyson Hair Dryer, then keep watching this video. Okay, so if you are not familiar with the brand Dyson, they are probably one of the most, if not the most innovative companies for household appliances. They sell vacuums, humidifiers, fans, heaters. They, they're like the Mercedes of household appliances and products. And so they recently branched into hair care. Now I love Dyson's products. I have fans, I have vacuums, I have heaters. And when I found out that they were venturing into hair, hair care, I was not impressed and I had no intentions of buying the hair dryer because one, I knew it was gonna be crazy expensive, but two, I don't use a blow dryer that often, so I didn't feel the need to get one. So I am very much late to the whole Dyson hair dryer world. This came out, I think, maybe three years ago. So I'll tell you what I thought about it and highlight some of the benefits of it and let you know if I think it's worth it. Okay, so first of all, let's start with what it comes in. It comes in this nice, they call it the presentation case. And really sleek, it's very actually heavy. When you open it, you open it, it has like the velvet like interior. And so it that's nice to have a place to store my hair dryer. So I'm gonna give you some of the information about the Dyson hair dryer and some of the benefits of it. So it says it promises to increase shine by up to 132%, improve softness by up to 75%, and decrease frizz and flyaways by up to 61%. It also promises to cut down the drying time. So I'm gonna show you what comes with this hair dryer. So with the hair dryer, you have the option of three airflow options and you have four options for the temperature and it also has this filter here at the bottom where you can just take out any time and clean it i actually didn't even know that i could do that until i was like reading the the notes so i just cleaned out mine and it does come with a very long cord and the cord in itself is actually very very heavy okay so i'm going to show you some of the detachments that comes with it of course, the first one you have like the wide tooth comb. And it's super simple how it detaches. It's kind of like a magnet. See, it's that simple. So you have that one. Next, you have the diffuser, which also props on. Kind of like this. The diffuser is obviously for your curly hair. So if you're wearing like a wash and go, this is what the diffuser is used for. The next is the style concentrator. Um, so this is kind of like if you're drying your hair, you kind of want like a more focused, if you're styling your hair as you're blow drying it. I have not used any of these except for the, the wide tube comb. This is interesting because this is a flyaway detachment. So it helps with flyaways. And here you go. This one is the gentle air attachment and it basically diffuses and smooths the air so that the temperature is, is gentle on your scalp. So I've been using the hair dryer for probably about a year. I've only used the wide comb. That's typically how I dry my hair. And I can say before I started using this hair dryer, it would take me 45 minutes to an hour to dry my hair. Now for me, I shampoo my hair in sections, I blow dry my hair in sections. So I have to even create sections within sections when, the, when I'm blow drying my hair. So it takes a lot of time. And I can say that with this hair dryer, it has cut that time down and almost in half. So now it's about 30 minutes that it takes me to blow dry my hair. And the reason why it took so long in the past is because I had to do smaller sections because I can't just take my hair and just go in with the blow dryer. I have to make very small sections. However, with this hair dryer, I can take much more of my hair in one setting and just go right through it. I couldn't do that at first. 
So it definitely cut down the dry time in half. Also Dyson claims to retain the shine in your hair and I can absolutely say yes. I think in times past, I was using a blow dryer. I think it was hot and gold. And it would dry so much of my hair out that I did not have shine. And I can say every time that I use this blow dryer, after I flat out of my hair, without much product, I can see a shine in my hair. The hair dryer is also formulated to reduce heat damage. So it's not just a hair dryer, it's technology that is for the reduction of heat damage. And obviously I have curly hair, I have natural hair, and so when I have to blow dry my hair the very few times I do, I don't want to damage it. Now, the price tag of this dryer is $429. The price increases, I believe, depending on the color of the dryer, depending on if there are some other attachments with it. This is a very expensive hair care tool and I had no intentions of purchasing it because one, it's expensive, it's almost $500, but also I only blow dry my hair a few times out of the year. I blow dry my hair when I'm getting a trim and I blow dry my hair when I want to straighten it, which is in the winter months. So I can say give or take, maybe about five to six times out of the year. That's not enough for me to pay $500 for a blow dryer. However, I did have the hot and gold blow dryer and it just went out. And I said, let me just try it. And I purchased mine from Sephora and Sephora, they're lenient on you trying their products and if it doesn't work, you can just bring them back. So that's exactly what I did. I said, let me try it out. Let me see if I absolutely like it. And if I don't, I was just gonna return it. But when I tried it, I absolutely loved it. The drying time was reduced. It was so much easier to flat iron my hair the times that I used it to flat iron my hair. And since I have very thick, coarse hair, to have the dry time reduced for me, like it is it is worth it, even though it's $500. Now, who is this for? I would say it's not for you if you don't use blow dryers a lot, if you don't do your own hair. If you have a child and you do a child's hair, they have really thick, coarse hair. If you're doing it at home, I think this is absolutely worth it. I wish I had it when I was younger. Something else I love about this hair dryer is that there are LED lights on the side of it and it lights up when you need to change the filter so it notifies you of that. And it gets red here on this side, the heating side, when you need to contact the Dyson helpline. So if there's something malfunctioning with it, I like that I can contact the company to fix it or just let me know what's going on with it. So all in all, I do Love this hair dryer. I think it is definitely worth it, even though I don't blow dry my hair very often. When I do blow dry my hair or before using this hair dryer, it was a whole situation. So for me now, just only take 30 minutes to blow dry my hair is huge. So let me know if you all have the Dyson hair dryer. Like I said, I'm late. I, I just didn't see myself purchasing it, but now that I have, I absolutely love it. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments if you're thinking about getting the Dyson hair dryer, let me know as well. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, give it a like and please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.